Hello guys, a few weeks ago I received an email asking for help with this piece of code and typically I don't do personal consultations anymore, I just physically don't have time, but if it's a short question, which would be relevant for others as well, I usually reply and also shoot a video. So this is a good candidate for that. So there is an observer that generates the order number randomly, but it should be unique order number for that day. Could we improve that code? And this is exactly what the person was asking. Do you think there is any problem with this code or could it be improved? I recreated that observer behavior in a demo project like this. So there's an order model with just two fields of order number and order amount. There could be more fields, but this is not the point of this video. So when I post a new order with some order amount, the order number should be filled in automatically. In the controller, I've created the API controller, which just does the saving of the order amount. And there's API route, or in fact, route resource to post a new order. Now, what could we improve here? First, how it works currently without any optimization. It does work, it's just not optimized. So I send the API request from my postman with the order amount of some number an order number is automatically generated from the date of today and then random six digits at the end. And that should be unique order number. Now that uniqueness is ensured in the observer here and this is where we can optimize some things. First, it is doing the loop assigning this variable every time, although this variable is static. So first thing I would do is just put that out there to assign it only once. Then for every order number, we check the database if it exists. So there's at least one SQL query to the database, but potentially many more. In this case, we have like 900,000 potential options. So it may not be a problem if you have like three to five orders per day. But if you have such kind of a nice problem to have many orders, then you may run into an issue of too many SQL queries just to check the order number, whether it exists or not. So what I would do instead, and this is exactly what I suggested in my reply email is take that once set of data into the collection and then check that while from the collection. So we can get all order numbers for that day, like order numbers equals order where order number like that day. So something like today dot this and then we get only order numbers. We don't need all the records. For that, we can do get or we can do plug of order number. So we get all the order numbers of the day. And then here we can check whether that order number exists in here or doesn't. So we will generate new order numbers while order numbers contains this order number like this. And let's try it out, whether it works. In the postman, we send that again, and we have a new order number, refresh, every time that works. The only other thing I want to test, whether it works if there are no records for that day. So I've run my great fresh here for the database, and we send it again, and it still does work. So this is how I would optimize that code to not run too many SQL queries, instead working with collections. Now, of course, for some cases, it could be improved even more by generating those order numbers up front, for example. But this is a totally different strategy. For example, you would save order numbers already prepared somewhere, unique ones. And then for each new order, you would take that number from the database and kind of reserve that number for the next order. Or maybe you have other solutions. What have you used if you need to generate something like this randomly for the record? Did you use observers at all? Maybe you didn't. Share your experience in the comments. And I noticed lately on this channel, I started doing a bit different videos, less like preaching for me and teaching you how to do, but more like showing some way of doing stuff, sometimes by myself, sometimes from open source. And then we discuss in the comments. And I really like those discussions. Sometimes you teach me how to do things. So maybe you could teach me something here, some trick, how to do it in a better or more elegant way. Let's discuss in the comments. And of course, subscribe to the channel to get the new videos daily and see you guys in other videos.